In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can find your meta access tokens or your API key. Now, if you're not familiar with what an API key is, it's what allows you to attach one website or one program into another one. So my favorite use case for this is make.com. And if you're not familiar with make.com, basically it's my favorite automation system that allows you to attach a bunch of different websites to get something done for you. So basically you can attach Facebook to ChatGPT to send messages. So that's what we're going to try to accomplish today. And what we need to do is find our API key. And for some reason, Facebook makes it impossible. I'm not here to waste your time. So if you want to like and subscribe, that would be cool, but we're just going to get into it. Over here is my business suite. Now, if you're a normal person, you'd probably be like, oh, it's obviously in here out of like all of these tools, but it's actually not. And I find Facebook really clunky and convoluted for no good reason. But anyway, so you can click around in here all you want. You're not going to find it because where you actually have to go is over here. Now, this is a totally different place. <laughs> okay. So developers.facebook.com. I have to go through a login page here, and then you're going to see this over here. It's going to say my app. So you're going to have to go to create an app. In order to um, accomplish what we're trying to do here, you're going to need make.com. And again, that's down in the description and it's free. So make.com is what I'm just going to call it. That's just a name. So next down here to other next, we are a business. So, uh, messenger is what I'm really interested in. I want to be able to make my make.com message prospects. So this all looks great. Um, I don't need to put a business portfolio. I'm going to make myself smaller because I'm huge. Okay. So we're going to go create our app. This is what your dashboard is going to look like. Dashboard. You can do a lot of different types of integration. You could integrate Instagram or WhatsApp in your website. There's a marketing API key, but for this specific workflow, I am looking for meta messenger. So I already set that up, but we're going to go down here to meta messenger. Um, this is going to say, just like these ones set up if you've never done it before. Okay, so we're gonna click set up, even though mine says settings. And in here, you're gonna see it's asking you to configure a webhook. So in order to be able to do this, we're gonna have to go into our make.com. And once again, if you've never used make.com, it is down here in the description and it's free. So we have to go over here to make.com. And this is what we call a scenario. We're gonna create a new scenario, and then we're gonna select the Facebook Messenger module. Um, I think they still call it Facebook in here, which is funny because it's meta now. So um, Facebook Messenger, so that's great. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you select the trigger. Doesn't matter what we're trying to do in the future, but for this specific portion, you're going to have to select the trigger. And you can see here, it says choose a hook. We're gonna to have to add one. So you can give it a webhook name. So this would be my Facebook Messenger webhook, that's fine. Um, and verify the token, you have to give it a name. I'm gonna give it this name, so webhook Facebook one, whatever. Um, save it, and then it's gonna populate this link. Okay, so we're going to copy this URL into Facebook developer. So the callback URL is copy and paste. And then you're just going to put the name that you gave it in the other app over here in make.com um, back in here. So what did we say? We said webhook Facebook one. So verify and save, this should work great. So then we can go down here and it's going to say generate an access token, which is the whole point of this video, of course. So we have to connect our Facebook page. So the one that you use for your business or your content business and hit generate. You're going to have to hit, I understand. And this is going to be your webhook. I'm not going to show you mine because then you would be able to use my Facebook to do your business. And that would be weird. So we're just going to copy it done and then you're going to go back over to make.com and you're going to select another add a module and we're going to select facebook messenger and we're going to move me and then you can choose your action so do you want to send a message great our facebook should be attached and we are all ready to go after we simply copy and paste our access token. So save it and there we go. So now you can use make.com to send messages through your Facebook. And I think that that's really neat. But unfortunately, before you can ever use this integration, you have to wait like five days because Facebook is gonna make you request an approval. And these approval processes can be pretty short or a little bit longer. And the reason that this is, is that this type of technology could be misused. And Facebook doesn't want you to misuse it and spam people or be body and annoying because that's 
lame. So don't do that. Um, you want to use your integrations in make.com in a really meaningful and impactful way without being spammy or body or else you're going to get kicked out. So there you have it guys. That is how you find your API key. Um, and I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, you know, like, and subscribe or whatever. See you later.